So someone asked, why can't you go Caitlyn with Lethality versus Varus, who also is able to build Lethality? And the reason is entirely in the way they're going to deal damage with the Lethality. Like, the reason Lethality is good on any champion is because it enhances your spells, not because it enhances your autos. There's better auto enhancers out there. Um... So then you have to look at their spells, like how good are the ratios? How good is the spell itself? Like how easy is it, is it to land? How many people does it hit? Varus Q, not necessarily easy to land, but the range is quite a bit higher. Wonderful. It's a faster spell. Like even though you charge it, like when Love you actually it. shoot it, it comes out real quick. Um, And Caitlyn also, reduces damage after the first target by quite a bit like if you could find some way to 100 percent of the time land caitlin q single target on cooldown she would be an insane champion right 170 percent bonus or sorry uh total ad like that's so high but the reduced damage is quite a bit lower um so yeah it, it relies entirely on this uh, another thing is that her E doesn't scale with AD. Technically, you know, you shoot an auto out in addition to doing this, but there's no real scaling there. And then her ulti isn't 100% landable on the target you want, you know? Like, you can ult them when they're isolated, but it's not always going to hit them. Like, a tank walks up that you couldn't see, blocks the ulti. Whoop. Just lost all my damage. And then you have Q. And like, you just make less, way less use out of your kit than Varus does when he builds Lethality. Um, and, like, the E is just a lot of pressure early. Helps a lot, but... Like, Caitlyn Q and Varus E are very comparable early. Uh, but yeah, Caitlyn Q is... Just about as good... Or, sorry... Just about as good, I think it's better than Varisee. Because the way you use it is you position yourself so that you can aim it towards the enemy champion trying to hit them, but you hit the wave in the way. So that you push the wave while also attacking them. That's like the best way to use it. And it's kind of the same thing as Varus E. Like you don't really want to shoot Varus E and exclusively hit the champion. You want to make it so that it's hitting the wave and the champion. And then it's like, you get pushed while damaging them. But yeah, anyways, like, if you really want to figure out why can't Caitlyn can't go Lethality, literally queue up for your game, play it as Caitlyn with Lethality, and then queue up a game as Varus with Lethality. You will instantly tell. You're like, okay, like, I'm legitimately useless. And then as Varus, you're like, wow, my kit actually works with these items. Oh, yeah. I'm on the case. Welcome to my butthole, Daddy Snakey. Welcome. Wonderful. We can't just see the past. We have to observe. Look at that. I hit all the range minions and I hit both of them. But now that the wave's way easier to catch up to the uh, push state that they have. Now I just do this. Wonderful. I got a faster push than them. Now we can actually hit two. My push crank walks up. I'm gonna sacrifice the CS here so we can hit two. I think hit by Philios a lot here though. A real lot. This is 
really bad, actually. I'm way too chunked. This hooks down for a bit. I'm like fully contesting the wave. I probably shouldn't be. Just considering the support matchup. Yeah, that was some bullshit. I've gotten hit by Aphelios like seven times. I've returned zero. I only hit him with a Q. It's just way too terrible. It's fine if it just walks away. Uh, I'm gonna grab these. Mobility. The problem is that. Oh. That's a suicide. Nearly should flash in here. No? Wow. Oh, that's so bad for them. Nice. I was gonna say, the problem is that, uh, like, I'm basically 2v1 in this early lane phase because Thrush is so strong and Blitzcrank can't hit the wave. So I have to make up for both by not really being able to fight them. So Aphilius was just smacking me for free the whole time, if you saw. Enough that they were like they were getting the taste of me potentially dying and then Aphilius was like oh I have to flash Even I cancel this guy for sure protection point 200 off uh, BF I have to go pickaxe. This is my temporal plasma blaster. I pointed it at Pickaxe is fine. Oh, I was gonna say, if I could redo the early game, I think I just don't contest. Really? Hey dad, is the your hair want. getting a little long? I'm just gonna die. I'll be in this front brush. Wonderful. I'm feeling like a weak piece of shit. Wait, what? Wait, how did the spear hit me? Level up! 
Yeah, I, I kept hitting him and I kept not critting. So I eat in and got the crit. You fuck, bitch. I don't know, I, I think Caitlyn can work. I, I just have to have the right support, but holy shit, was it bad here? And like I said, I, I shouldn't have actually contested the wave level one. I was like, I, I hit Thresh a little bit. But Aphilios legitimately was just autoing me on cooldown because he had the luxury of not needing to push the wave because they already had so much push from just existing as Thresh and hey, Aphilios. Sneaks, just two range wanted to let one. you know that your informational YouTube and stream content gave me the knowledge as an ADC to improve from bronze to gold this season. Much love, brother. Pog champ, man. Glad I can help. Yeah, I think... I feel like the only champions you could actually play Caitlyn with are Morgana and Thresh. Main one being Morgana. Thresh is okay. No, not, not me. Bard's okay. No, you guys are naming way too many champions. You're acting like Caitlyn's viable. Caitlyn is like a, a niche pick that can only function with another high tier pick. Like, those champions work if Caitlyn's good, but Caitlyn's not good. She just can work in some scenarios.